Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here coming at you with another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your OBS with your Elgato HD60. Now I'm sorry if the uh, mouse is a little glitchy. You have to use a third party software to record. and uh, They're terrible uh, because OBS I usually use, but uh, I'm showing you how to use OBS so I can't show you that obviously. Um, so basically you're going to want to make a new scene. So we'll just create a scene and then we'll put test, I don't know, Elgato. <coughs> Now this works for the Elgato uh, HD60 or the regular one, but I have an HD60. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But uh, first, when I hit Add and Video Capture Device, now name this Elgato. Now um, for up here, you want to do your device and make sure Elgato Game Capture HD. Make sure you have your Elgato software installed, even if you do not use it. Um, and in this, you want to hit Configure. And uh, most people, if you're going to be using the Elgato, you have the chat link cable. So make sure um, when you have this on, uh, my Elgato isn't on right now. You want to make sure audio uh, input, you click it and then do um, source here. I'll show you real quick. Um, so let me add the video device. I don't know, like I said, Elgato. And then just click OK. So we got Elgato. Now, if you want a um, webcam, you want to hit, um, you know, video capture device, uh, whatever, and then you select your webcam. I have the Logitech C270, but I'm not going to do that for the tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to set up your Elgato. Um, if you want to add overlays, you just go to image and browse and select your overlay or whatever. Um, it's pretty simple. If you want to learn how to do use OBS, that's, that's very simple. I'm going to show you how to do the Elgato. So when we hit preview stream, as you can see, we will have uh, my El your El Elgato will light up, and uh, you will see your whole screen turn on. Now um, let me just get into this. Okay, now we're into the home screen of the PS4. Now as you can see, what you just basically want to do is um, we got this recording, but I'm gonna show you the settings. Um, now down here you can, if you want your mic really loud, you turn that up if you want it lower. I put it about 70% for streams, and I turn my audio really low down for um, streams because that's not very important, but you can still hear the game. Now we're going to stop preview for right now, and we're going to quick show you the settings required for this. Now when we hit settings, uh, first thing that you want to do, uh, you can put this whatever you want, just leave it default. Encoding, now for me it's AMD VCE. Um, I have a modified version for my AMD graphics card, but for most of you, you're going to hit uh, X264, but just for me, that's, but you want to select this. Now, you want to put, for streaming, 3000. If you're going to be recording videos with this, um, turn this to 10,000, um, or you can do all the way up to 20,000, depending on how good your computer is, but I only stream with OBS, and I record with the Elgato software. Make sure you have enable CBR padding and uh, that will automatically default. Uh, for audio encoding, 128 stereo AAC, 48 kilohertz. Um, and then this will not be here for you. Um, now you want to apply that obviously, I just I already have this. Now this is uh, just uh, something different. Um, this is your broadcast settings. Now uh, you're going to put your mode, so if you want recording you do file output, but like I said, live stream. And then you put your uh, link for YouTube. J always do custom. Don't select YouTube. Just do custom. And then this will be on your streaming page. Uh, you can find that. Um, and then just keep everything default. Um, that's your stream key. You know, you'll know. Um, now here we have uh, your resolution. So if your uh, Elgato is at 1080, uh, then make sure you do this. But if it's at 720, make sure you put it at uh, 1280 by 720. And then uh, do no downscaling. So if it's 720, I'll say 720 here. Uh, make sure to just keep uh, FPS 30. Unless you're recording, you can turn it to whatever you want. But for streaming, 30 is the only one you can do. Because, uh, well, you can't do higher, but it, uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube will not support it. Now, uh, this does not matter. This is where the audio will be coming out of. Um, but if you're not listening to your stream, it doesn't matter. Um, also, microphone auxiliary device, select your best microphone, so I have the blue snowball, obviously, which I'm using right now, um, and I'll come right back with you in just a bit. Okay, and we are back, sorry about that, the uh, recording software I'm using just to record OBS 
um, only lets me record in five minute intervals. But let's get right back into it. Uh, so blue snowball. Now just keep all this default besides mic offset. Since the Elgato introduces a 1500 millisecond delay, put your mic to 2000. That's what I find works best. A 2000 to match up with your gameplay. Now uh, we're gonna hit advanced here. Now as you can see, um, just keep this. Uh, this is based on your computer. Um, for if you have a good computer, turn this to uh, about faster, very fast. Um, but if you have a really bad computer, slower. Um, high. Um, use CFR. Make sure that's checked. Um, and then you can do all these settings. These are just kind of just keep it the same as mine. Um, and that's about all you need for the setting side. And you will have your Elgato working all great. Um, and you will get a same once it loads up experience as I will if you want to have overlays like I showed you before it's really simple you just add an, an image um, if you want a uh, actual how to use OBS tutorial uh, you can look that up but thanks for watching guys I'm sorry if the quality wasn't that great this time uh, for the actual recording of it I'm using some other software since I can't obviously use OBS so thanks for watching guys I hope you liked it please rate comment subscribe I'll see you next to you guys peace out